Hey guys, this is Jen from Head to Toe and today I wanted to share with you just my basic routine of how I apply my blush. And as you can see, I don't have any blush on my cheeks right now, they're, they're just plain. It's really about where you place your blush to give a certain kind of effect, like if you just want to look like more dolly, then you can put it on the apples of your cheeks. If you want to chisel your cheeks a little bit more, you can apply it like how I'm going to show you, which is just underneath a little bit. So if you want to see how I do my blush, then please keep watching. So I zoomed you guys in so you can get a closer look at my cheek area. Um, first of all, I'm going to take a brush like this angled one right here. This is the Sigma F40. I've said this a lot of times. This is my favorite blush brush just because it does have that nice angle and it fits into my cheek area really well. So I'm going to take my favorite blush at the moment, which as you might know because I talk about it all the time, it's my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. This is kind of a pinky, almost slightly brown undertone color, so I actually use this as sort of a hybrid bronzer blush, which is why I love it, because I can just do one step. So I'm just going to take a little bit of product onto my brush like this, and swirl it or tap it, whatever, a little bit on my brush there. So I know a lot of people say you can do a fish face, you can do like that and see where your cheekbones are but I since I've done this so many times I know my face pretty well I usually don't if you need that again you can do that until you can learn the contours of your face so I take my brush in this kind of angle right here right underneath where this main line of my cheekbone goes in so I'm going to take the brush and having it angled perpendicular to the plane of my face this is where my temple is, I start right underneath there. And then I just sort of tap this into my skin and bring it forward along that same line. Usually what I'll do is have more pigment near the hairline and then less as it goes forward. Just so it has this sort of gradient effect. Just because when you're looking at it from the front, you really want the far areas to sort of look more like shadow on your face. You don't really want it to scream, oh, I have like hot pink cheeks or anything, you know, you just want it to look really natural. And then from here, you can blend it up and down a little bit. I really kind of focus it in this little triangle. And as I go forward, I bring it down and sort of cup this little area of my face right here. So I just get a soft bit on the apples. I know people say this all the time, this is the apple of your cheek, this is the contour area, and this is where the highlight would be. So again, the apple, contour, highlight. Actually the highlight is kind of this area, this whole C shape. Because if you look, this, this, and this is where the light's hitting my face, naturally. So those are the places you want to highlight with a highlighter. And then this area is where my face is getting shadow naturally. So you just want to enhance that. Again, here's my temple. I'm starting right underneath it right here. I'm going to tap that into my skin, bringing it forward. You just want everything to be really, really soft. So I'm not pressing down too hard. And then you can blend that up and down along your cheek. And just bring it underneath this area in the front. And that way it's really easy to get an even blush line. It might be a little dark on this side, but that's just because the sun is coming from this direction. I promise you in real life, they are even. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. It's really nice and quick and easy and a natural way of applying blush that I think sort of works with the shape of your face. So the next step I'm going to go to is highlighting my cheeks. So for that I'm using my Dior Shimmer Powder in Amber Diamond. This is obviously a little bit high-end. It was definitely a splurge for me, but you can use whatever highlighter you want. This one is actually one of my favorites as well. This is the NYX Mosaic Powder in 01 Highlighter, and this one has a little bit of a violet kind of tone, a little bit of like a iridescent glowiness to it. I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's great because there's, there's no glitter in it. This one is a little bit on the warmer side, so let me just swipe that for you. See, it's a little bit more golden, but I love these both just depending on what kind of look I'm going for and which color matches my makeup. So for today, since I just sort of have 
a fairly simple brown smudgy eyeliner kind of thing. I'm going to go with this warm one and I'm using a smaller highlighter brush, the Sigma F35 brush. I'm going and just using all the different colors. If you wanted to, you could just use these or these, whatever you want. I'm going to take this brush, and like I said before, this C area is really where you want the light to shine. So I usually do this section first. I start from the outside and I just sweep this inward. I don't want it to look like really sparkly and I also don't want to look greasy. So you kind of have to be careful not to go too far down because sometimes the glitter particles get stuck in your pores and that's not very flattering. If you have a lot of fine lines, you're definitely going to want something that's less glittery and more uh, glowy, if that makes sense. Because you don't want the shimmer particles to sort of catch the light at all inside any wrinkles or pores. So I just go in a little C shape right here. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go from the end, sweep it down onto the tops of the cheeks, and go in a little C motion. For highlighter, you can always, of course, go up here, down your nose, on your chin, but because I tend to have sort of combination oily skin, I don't like doing that too much. I don't really want people to confuse anything and think that I'm like greasy. So yeah, that's about all it is. Just go on the tops of your cheeks, right where the light naturally hits your face. And as you can see, as I turn my face, you can see that nice healthy glow. So this is the final blushed look. It's a little bit darker at the tops, gets a little bit lighter in the front, and helps to sort of slim and chisel my face. Obviously, this is just my favorite technique, so you can use whatever techniques that you prefer using instead. Um, one being, if you want to go for more of like a cute dolly look, then maybe you want to focus on putting the blush right on the apples of your cheeks. And, and I really like doing that with sort of a sheer hot pink blush, just giving you a flush like you just came in from the cold. But this for every day I think is super flattering and it would work with a lot of different types of face shapes. This is really a technique I love using on people who are a little bit more self-conscious about their face shape. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you have any more requests for other basic kind of tutorials please leave them down in the comments and I'll try to do whatever's most requested, most popular. And I guess that is about it. If you would like to see more information, you can always check out my blog. That's at fromheadtotoe.com. If you have any questions for me, you can ask me on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!